Hey guys, Slippy here, welcome back to the channel. Before we jump into the review of this uh, official Boy Scout knife, or Cub Scout I should say, uh, I've just received some of John from Thrifty Kniffy's new stickers. I must say they look absolutely fantastic. See the the case sow belly on there, I believe it is. And this is obviously the state of Texas outline. And then he's also sent in some of the round ones where they've got the new sow belly on them as well. Really, really nice. Make sure you go check out his channel. Got some fantastic stuff on there. Um, you can also purchase these stickers from him. I believe he put out a video yesterday or the day before uh, of how you're able to do that. So go check out his channel. Anyway, on with today's review. So as I was saying, I have this Cub Scout knife. As you can see, it has this synthetic jigged cover. And you see there the Cub Scouts BSA. And the BSA stands for Boy Scouts of America. And this is would be like a lower tier for younger children before they progress through the ranks. And you can see there, I believe that is a wolf on there. I believe it's the wolf. But it's a really nice condition for its age. Excellent fit and finish on the back. I believe this is carbon steel blades because there is a bit of patina on there. You can also see the you have the double brass liner at the top, and I'll explain what that's for in a minute. The reverse side of the knife, cut out there to access one of the tools. Really nice sort of deep blue. Really nice jigging on this as well. Pin construction. Bail still attached, not flopping about, so it's still nice, got some nice sort of retention on it. So you know that would be hanging off their backpacks. And let's have a little look at the tools first. So here we have... I believe this is like an owl or a punch. And what's unique about these, the original sort of Boy Scout, Cub Scout knives, is they, the tools had a liner lock on them. So you can see there that bit of brass folds over and sort of stops, stops it closing. And then you can just see in there, you can see there it just says press on there. So that would be how to unlock the liner. So you just slide that to the side and then obviously you can go about closing that. Nice little snap on that tool. And then this side, we have nice, really nice pull on that one. I'd say it's about an eight. Nice cap lifter, small flathead screwdriver, little pry if you want to use it. Wouldn't put too much pressure on. Obviously, it's quite a thin stock. Sort of like over to the side, like hand over to the side, just to accommodate for this blade here. So, you know, it's not rubbing against this one. Same with this one, you can see it's bent up to the top, so they avoid each other in the middle. So, it's, so it's how you can have one back spring for two blades. This also has the liner lock. You see there, just about make out press in there. And that's how you would release that. Lovely little snap on that one. And let's have a look at the main sort of spear point blade. Half stop. Nice pull. Uh, you can see on there, official, see if I can get the light, official Cub Scout knife there. There's a little bit of blade rub on this, but you know you have to forgive that for the age of the knife. Two little spots of rust, which I've, I've cleaned up a little bit, but I don't want to touch any more than that. I'd, I'd like to leave it as it is. I've put a nice, a nice edge on this with the work sharp. It's like an absolute razor now. Lovely blade. No play at all, nice and firm. And you can see here, very unusual to find this in the UK. I found this on Etsy, got quite a good price on it. It's a, it's a New York, USA made Camillus. So it's very unusual to find that in the UK. So I'm really sort of happy with this purchase. This will be a carry for me. I'm actually carrying it today. Really, really, really like this knife. It's just something about older knives. I don't know how you guys feel in the comments if you want to discuss, but older knives, because they come with the history, you know, someone's used them and they've had a purpose. They sort of speak to me more than like you would buy a sort of a modern knife. But the fit and finish and the quality on this and the condition it's in. Um, I had some information from John over at Thrifty Kniffy and he's saying this is the 1970s Tang Stamp. So this is coming up to a 50 year old knife nearly. I mean, look at the condition of it. Obviously, you know, you've got the wear. Uh, the rub where it's slightly rubbed the scale or the liner here, but for the age of the knife that doesn't bother me. I'm I'm more than happy with this. There we go, guys. That's a brief overview of the 
USA made Camillus official Cub Scout knife. Let me know what you think. Do you guys collect sort of older knives? Are you into older knives? Or are you still on the, you know, the, the new sort of modern train? Let me know what you think. Hope to speak to you in the comments. Hope you all have a wonderful Monday. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.